Hey good people, it's Cece Devereaux and I'm coming to you today with a video regarding how I interlock my hair. I get a lot of questions from a lot of people, people that are locked, not locked, and they want to know how I maintain my hair because they automatically assume that I twist it. And when I inform them that no, I've never twisted my hair before, they're like, What? What do you do? How do you do it? And then I tell them, and they're, I think they're even more confused than they were <laughs> before I started describing it. So maybe this video will help someone understand a bit more about what I do to my hair. And I use a little tool and I make it happen. So let me show you. So as you can see, I have a lot of new growth. I only re-interlock my hair every between six to eight weeks so almost every two months month and a half but yeah there's a lot of hair <laughs> so i start by taking the yarn needle and just separating the parts i'm not a stickler for having clean parts but i will go ahead and attempt to just for the repurpose of making sure the hairs that belong to each lock get interlocked into the correct lock. I then take any new growth or hair that's considered slippage, any hairs that sli have slipped out of the lock since the last time I've interlocked, and wrap it around the lock going downward. Then I place my lock through the loop of the yarn needle. I use a four point method where I do perpendicular movements where I go either up then to the left or down then to the right. I never do the same movement twice because that does create holes within your locks. So you definitely, if you're attempting to do this yourself, definitely, definitely want to avoid doing the same movement two times in a row. I'm going to go ahead and do another one for you guys just so you can see. When doing the four point method, you're not gonna always have to do a complete four point. You may stop on two or three. You may even stop on one, just depending on how much new growth you have um, to retighten. But you wanna locate where you last inserted your needle because you don't want to hit the same spot twice or go in the same direction twice. So just locate where you last inserted the needle and then go opposite of that. Always go in the same four point direction. I always go down left then up right. So if I leave off on down, then I'm gonna go to the left. If I leave off on up, then I'm gonna go to the right, etc., etc. I always try to avoid tightening or interlocking my hair too tightly so if i don't make the four points that's fine i'll just figure it out <laughs> when i come back because it can cause your hair to become really thin if you if you interlock too tightly so what i use to interlock my hair yarn needles and i get these straight up out of walmart for about a dollar and fifty cents for the pack of four and they do look a bit thin this is what it looks like outside of the packet 
And the opening is thin as well. And I know you're like, Chelsea, how do you get your lock through that? I don't. <laughs> and unfortunately, people with thicker locks probably will not be able to use these. However, there are other tools out there that are manufactured just for thicker locks to, in to interlock. I've seen people use all kinds of things, even crochet hooks and what have you, but this is what I use. And even for my locks, which aren't that thick, I have to manipulate the tool so that it looks like this. And I just bend it open using some jewelry, plier, wire things. I'm not sure what these are. But I just take it and insert the plier through the opening and I just bend it on each side. Try not to break it in the process because it's not that durable. It takes me approximately a day and a half to complete this task in order to do my entire head. That's simply because I like to take breaks, my arm gets tired, um, I have 294 locks to, to maintain. I don't interlock often. I do it approximately every six to eight weeks. It could take me, it, it just depends on when I can get to it, but it, I don't like to do it too often because I don't want them to get too thin. If you have any questions regarding this process or what I do with my hair, feel free to ask me. I'll be happy to answer your questions down below in the comment section. Also, how do you maintain your hair? Do you interlock? Do you palm roll? Do you even do it yourself? Do you go to a stylist every whenever you go? Let me know. I wanna hear from you guys. Until next time with another video, with another topic, with another something else, go ahead and subscribe so you can make sure that you come back because you don't wanna miss out on this. All right, good people. Talk to you later. Thank you.